Good morning, folks. We took the CME impact and exactly the geomagnetic storm that was predicted. We've also got catastrophe articles today in preparation for tonight's big update video. And we're starting at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were quiet. Small CMEs leaving the limbs left and right. Coronal hole signatures are clear, but small. And so let's go to that CME impact. It's right under the pink line, which will disappear here to show the jolts vertically to the data stream at the moment of impact. It was moderate everything. Moderate speed, density, magnetic coupling, and the Earth entered the low-level geomagnetic storm category overnight with minor reverberations expected today. Pretty auroras captured around the globe. The most minor electric system disruptions were possible overnight and through today as the energy exchange within the global electric circuit is happening over the next 12 to 14 hours. Top quake was a 6.4 in Greece. This one luckily well south of the most populated areas, but it's the second sizable shake in a month, and locals are shaken indeed. Nice nod to that global electric circuit here, the superbolt power to reach into space. Lightning is one of those items that amplifies during and in the day after a geomagnetic storm. Folks, the AGU fall meeting is still two months away, but their program is out, and we'll be going over a number of their sessions and papers and posters in the coming weeks. But today... With the catastrophism update coming tonight, let's go over their geomagnetic variation work. Boy, oh boy, did they go nuts on Le Champ. Previous years have been more spread around. Gothenburg, Lake Mungo, Mono Lake. But it's Le Champ this year at the AGU Fall Meeting 2021 with numerous identifications in the evidence and interpreting the details of how it all played out. There was one crew that did scope a number of the excursions, including the one we see scoped the least often, the Greenland event 60,000 years ago. There were also two papers that really drove home one of the critical points of an excursion. Solar energetic particles destroy the protective ozone layer, but so do the energetic electric precipitation and the penetrating plasma sheet. These are major problems during the excursion, especially in a Le Champ type event where the new official number is 4. 4%. The field dropped to only 4% during the Le Champ excursion. That's a lot of ozone destruction, a lot of cosmic rays. The other excursions in the last 100,000 years likely never got below 20%, but this equatorial auroral variation was so extreme that another team found that there was no latitude-based difference in cosmic ray exposure. The whole world took the surge. Not going to lie, those are not exactly happy magnetic excursion papers. Now lastly, folks, I want to mention Website Members Deeper Look episode yesterday is a very fun one. I'm hoping it gets us the visuals to help our imaginations cross a finish line. Remember that big update on catastrophism is coming here later tonight. It's going to pick up right where we left off before, so catching up on the disaster series below this video is a must before tonight. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.